And we're in Liverpool. Our own chambers, breathtaking. But what I'm here to do today is eat. I've had my ear to the street and I'm about to show you the best new up and coming restaurant in Liverpool. Shamrock's Grand. That's the Instagram. So I've got to, I've got to head to Granby Street to the pickup site and then find a place to eat it. Find a fork as well. Wow, look at this. Castle Townhouse. They've done um they've got a few new like really nice looking restaurants around the corner as well. Probably have to check them out. Gotta stay busy, stay filming. Anyway, I'm gonna use Google and find out where I've gotta go. I was actually doing really well on time. Well, too well in fact. Stopped off for a quick pint. Turned to free and now I'm struggling for time. Yet so good at the other bus to catch up to where we need to be. So that actually was a free bus ride. Sign up to Revolut, sometimes it doesn't go through. Like the card, it'll always let you on, it'll always say it's worked to the driver. But occasionally, no, no, no. Wow! Jesus Christ! Never met. Anyway, anyway, I'm pretty close now, so um, I should be. I need to go to cash points. I should be finding the cash point and going to get the food. But this is the road it's on, Granby Street. I actually filmed. I don't know if you remember it, but there was a few children playing basketball. And um, I got got involved, and I tell you what, there's actually a bit of graf there's actually a bit of graffiti saying Shamrock. Um, it's basically his mum's cafe, but here's Shem. A Shamrock BBJ. He's a very very good fighter. I'm going to look for a little cash point, ATM, and then we'll see what all the fuss is about. If you come here with a um, card, the closest ATM is a um, 150. To get your money out, and that's just over the road. I don't know if you can quite see behind me, but I've just been down the road to have a cup of tea in the Somalian, the Liverpool Somalian Community Centre. Oh, the tea was delicious. People were lovely. You know, flashbacks of Turkey. The food's ready, they've just um, kept keeping it warm for me, so I've got to go up and then try and find somewhere to eat it. Yeah, he's just saying, Somalians, good people, I, I agree. Yeah, yeah, Tea, yeah. delicious, um, everyone, very nice. Thank you. See? Um, yeah, it was um, a nice atmosphere. Anyway, back up to Munchies and let's get on it. You know, I'm actually really excited because I've followed Shem for quite a while and he's always posting stories of um, the food his mum cooks under. Some of the meals look unbelievable, so this is the first time trying. Make sure no one can run off from the camera. Just check, set them outside. Quick response as well, said sound bro, be there right away. Jesus Christ! Well that for a tenner, I did give him a heavy tip. Fair play, he just um, came around, dropped it off. Four boxes, mate. So, wow. Right, let's go to find find somewhere to eat, basically. Abandoned building, maybe. 
perhaps not. Um, is there a pub around here? Let me Google. No, I, I actually don't want to film that guy. There's um, a football goal on the wall and that's how I, I grew up playing football. Squash food. Whoa, it's muddy. Oh, maybe not kids and everything there, but I was going to ask them if I could commandeer a table, probably buy a coffee and whatnot. But yeah, I'm by the cathedral. So there's going to be somewhere where I can eat. Otherwise, I'll have to get all the way home and it's quite far. I've came a long way. So I know there's a few pubs in the Baltic Triangle. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to buy a plate of chips, a beer. Shot, maybe. Then when the chips come, they're getting tipped off the plate. And we're going to see what's in this bad boy. But that is absolutely ridiculous, I think. Ten pound. Uh, and for me to get home, if you used to look straight ahead, then cross the water, then go left past Camelard. That's about where I live, so it's like uh, it'll be cold. I suppose you can microwave it. But we're at the Baltic Triangle now, so um, that's that. We're going to go in. I'm going to figure it out. Some tables there. Little bench back that way. More tables. Keep your chick open until one o'clock in the morning. Baltic market. Let's see if you like, let's see if you get a knife at four, because there's plenty of space. A little bit dry there as well, so I think that's what I've got my eye on. I'm going to see if they will let me bum some cutlery. Probably not, but we'll find out. I'll buy a beer as well, so I've got every right to be here. I've never ever seen that in my life. I've never seen that in my life. I've just asked, could I borrow a plate? And the girl was really lovely. Uh, she said, I don't see why not, but she's going to ask a manager, so I'm buying a gin. And we're just going to sit here back. If not, I'm just going to have to um, Thank you, thank you. Yes. Just a, just a big one, big, like a pizza plate maybe or something. Thank you. Thank you. And apparently behind me is Meatball Molly McCann's. Meatball Molly McCann's um, restaurant. Pesky is it called? I don't know. That's so delicious. Seven pounds a bit steep, but so good. Thank you, I really appreciate it. I don't know, do you want to have a look? This is like £10 or £12, so you've got... I've actually said I can go up there with the social media guy. Fair play to them, look at the plates they gave me. That nearly, nearly broke my heart. Jesus Christ. Those potatoes, so good. Chicken's a bit cold now, well, let's taste it. That's actually how I make my chicken. I put a lot of spices on it. A lot of, um, put a lot of herbs. 
and then just throw it in a George Foreman. The potatoes might be the best potatoes I've ever tasted in my life. That must be for two people. That was really, really hard to eat. Easily. Feet too, I'm struggling. I'll tell you what, that killed me off. I don't think it's for one person. It gave me a lot more because I'm making a video. Due to hype it up a bit. But easily enough for two people. Um, so full. Jesus Christ. I really did try and finish it off for the video as well. Like, um, just quite a lot. And also, I was supposed to be promoting these shot glasses. Too full to even... Well, could probably squeeze a shot in. But I've already ruined it, the surprise. I had, like, um, a few edits in my head on how to go about it. But I would say I'll save it for another video. Anyway, this is me over and out. People have said you need to get back consistent. I actually went out to video, ordered, had the edit all lined up and they just didn't bring the food. That was in Birkenhead. They just didn't bring the food. I was sitting there with a tea. I, I'd had it all edited and then it was dark so I couldn't go on and continue and finish the video. So that was ruined. My ex-fiance from Mexico came to visit. I had to prepare my new place, decorate and whatnot. Oh, Jesus Christ! You can see, you must be able to see the the struggle. It's real. But yeah, I would say the ten pound meals from Shem Scrans would feed two people easily.